So, here's the thing. I'm going to do this video. I've gone this far. I have to do it. <laughs> I'm going to be so cold. And um, <clears throat> I'm coming to you live from my bathroom. That opening kind of killed me. Yes, I was barefoot. Yes, my feet hurt. I'm so susceptible to the cold. Like, how the hell was I born a Mainer and raised a Mainer? I don't understand. So this week's video is um, a winter fairy or an ice fairy or snow fairy, however you want to take it. It was a really last minute idea. I was going back over some of my older stuff, older videos, and you know, just trying to recap what I've done before so I'm not being too repetitive, but I also have this reoccurring, you know, themes and so forth. The only thing I really have reoccurring is like the rainbow series, so far as like group series, and I wanted, um, I wanted to, you know, have something else. So referring back to my um, autumn fairy, I uh, decided I should do a winter fairy, especially because I don't know if you saw the weather. Yeah, we got two feet of snow yesterday, over two feet of snow. And that's what you just saw me walking in, was the insane amount of snow. Yeah, all I wanted to do yesterday was cry. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I love Maine, but me and Winter, we're not friends. You know, ruined concerts for me, birthday parties, sleepovers, Halloween. Yes, I'm dead serious, it's ruined Halloween for me before. I just hate snow. I hate snow. So yeah, while I let my feet warm up, how about you guys go ahead and watch this tutorial on how I did this winter frozen fairy look. So I started this look off with my normal primer, concealer, and foundation before I moved into a shimmery black eyeshadow for my eyebrows just to make them really stand out. To achieve a really cold, frosty look on my eyes, I used my Moon Dust palette, um, starting with the granite all over the eyelids before moving on to Vega, which is the beautiful blue in that palette. And I put that blue all over, really, the outer corner of the eye socket, right from the brow bone all the way down over onto the top of my cheekbones. And then I blended it pretty smooth, just because I wanted it to look like my eyes were really frosty and cold. And the glitter in the Moon Dust palette is just so perfect for that. I did consider just using this lash primer and keeping my lashes blue for the look, but the blues didn't quite match and yeah, it bothered me. It bothered me a little bit. So I did go ahead and make my lashes black for this look, but you could totally keep them blue if you wanted. 
And then for my lips, I created a pretty dark blue ombre using NYX's Liquid Suede, which I found to be the best lip product for pretty much any kind of lip art you want to do. Alright folks, if you're not afraid of it, use it. Glitter. Fairy's best friend. Especially if you're a frosty fairy. A winter fairy look. I'm probably going to be steering really far away from cold themes for a little while. Sorry, I just need to do it. I'm kind of in love with this. This is the first time I've bedazzled my face and you know what's really sad is I have a rehearsal tonight. So I really should take all of this off. Thank you for watching. Hope to see all of you next time. At least mentally. I'm so freaking cold right now. Bye. <laughs> I can't feel my feet. <laughs>